Rob Roberts. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise with both immense sadness and immense gratitude for being able to contribute to this series of tributes to Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, both on my own behalf and on behalf of the people of Delhin, who have been delighted to welcome her on visits to the constituency many times over the years. It is an honour to be able to follow such outstanding speeches that we've heard over the last two days. Mr Speaker, nothing can measure the impact of a person than the way we feel about them when they pass away. We feel unimaginable grief at the passing of a parent, a close family member or a lifelong friend. And it's astonishing to think that people feel those same feelings at the passing of someone that, like me, they probably never met. Such was the impact of Her Late Majesty. She was the epitome of discretion, humility and grace. And whilst we were honoured to have her as our Head of State for so long, in truth I believe that she felt that the honour was hers <coughs> in being afforded the privilege of being our Queen, for hers was a life of duty, of sacrifice and of diligent responsibility to be that beacon that we all look towards in the most challenging times. She never took that duty lightly or casually, the omnipresent figure that bound us all together, providing a link to times gone by and to those people we've sadly lost along the way. People have said many times we will never see her like again. Mr Speaker, I hope we do. I really hope we do, because we all need that figurehead, the shining light, the ubiquitous inspiration to do all we can in the service of others. One of my old teachers told me a while, a while ago, if someone's already said it perfectly, don't be so arrogant to assume you can do it better. So in the words of the poet David Harkness. You can shed tears that she is gone, or you can smile that she lived. You can close your eyes and pray that she'll come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that she has left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love that you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her, and only that she is gone. Or you can cherish her memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind, be empty and turn your back. Or you can do what she would want, smile, open your eyes, love and go on. Mr Speaker, our grief is palpable, the void in our lives both unexpected and painful and we mourn her loss. May she rest well, reunited with her beloved husband, God save the new prince and princess of Wales, and God save the king. <laughs>